Hello friends, it's that time of the year again. Joey the Truth Wagner with you. Hockey season once again. This is the Pittsburgh Penguins season preview show. Well, we remember that night back on the 11th of June when the Penguins won the Stanley Cup yet again for the second year in a row over the Nashville Predators. What a year that was! But that's in the past now. It is now time to look forward, look ahead to the upcoming 2017-2018 year. Well, friends, there were a lot of changes for the Pittsburgh Penguins during the offseason. They lost a lot of key players, a lot of key pieces from their 2017 Stanley Cup championship. They lost Nick Benino. He is now a Nashville Predator. They lost Trevor Daly. He's now with the Red Wings. They lost Ron Hainsey, now with the Maple Leafs. Mac Cullen, now in Minnesota. Chris Kunitz is with the Lightning in Tampa. Mark Streit signed with Montreal. And the biggest loss of all, goaltender Marc-Andre Fleury going to the biggest Golden Knights in the expansion draft. Penguins lost all of those guys. And in the offseason, they made two additions. They signed defenseman Matt Hunwick to a three-year contract. Solid, puck-moving defenseman from the Maple Leafs. And they also signed Antti Niemi, the former Stanley Cup champion with Chicago, longtime starter in San Jose. Antti Niemi is the Penguins' backup goaltender behind Matthew Murray. And folks, I know that that was a lot of men off of the Stanley Cup championship team. In addition to that, the Penguins' assistant GM, Jason Bortelli, is now the general manager of the Buffalo Sabres. Also, assistant head coach Rick Tockett went to Arizona to be the Coyotes' head coach. So they're gone too. But folks, even though all of those pieces are gone, and there's a lot of new faces, I still think the Penguins have a legitimate opportunity to three-peat, to get the hat trick of Stanley Cup championships because of these guys. Crosby, Malkin, Latang, Kessel, and Murray. Because of those five guys, plus head coach Mike Sullivan, I believe this team can do anything that it puts its mind to. And that includes winning another Stanley well, folks, Cup. here is my season prediction. I see a lot of good things coming this season for the Pittsburgh Penguins. The first quarter of their season, the first quarter of their schedule is not easy. A lot of road games, including the Western Canadian trip in the first week of November. Most of their games for the first half of the for the first quarter of the season are on the road. But I think that actually benefits the Penguins because at the start of the year they're energized for a new season. So they'll be energized for all these road games in the in all of these diff difficult travel games. They'll be at home more in the middle of the year, so when they hit that mid-season lull, they'll be able to get their energy from the awesome fans at PPG Paints Arena. Friends, I believe that this season, the Penguins will win the Metropolitan Division. They will finish atop of their rivals, they'll finish first in the Metro. And folks, I believe that the young Penguins are going to have a huge impact on that, like Jake Gensel and Connor Sheary, who are with the club now. Don't underestimate the impact of Daniel Sprong and Zach Aston Reese. I believe that both of them will be with the Penguins at about the halfway point of this season. And they'll be the young boost 
that this team will need at that part of the year, and they'll come up, and they'll make a huge impact. Both of them are top nine forwards. They're top nine guys. Daniel Sprong has amazing offensive ability. Zach Aston Reese, comparable to Patrick Hornquist. A bull in a china closet, baby. That's what he brings to the table. But because of that, in Crosby and Malkin and Latang and the Stars, I believe the Penguins will have a successful year and they'll win the Metropolitan Division. They'll get home ice for the entire Eastern Conference playoffs. Now, folks, the truth is going to be a bit bold. Here's my bold prediction. Folks, the Ottawa Senators defenseman Eric Carlson, it looks like he's going to miss a couple of games at the start of the season from the off-season surgery he had on his heel that he played through during the playoffs last season. Because of that injury to Eric Carlson, I feel that one Penguin will come back from an injury in a big way. Chris Letang is going to come back from the neck injury that he had, had surgery on, recovered, came all the way back. He'll come all the way back, friends. And Chris Letang will finally win that elusive first ever Norris Trophy for being the top defenseman in the NHL. That's what he's going to do. He's going to cap off this unbelievable comeback by winning the Norris. Now, folks, it's time for my preseason playoff predictions. These are the teams I have in the playoffs. And, folks, these are, the, these are the teams I have in the Final Four in the Conference Finals. In the East, it's Pittsburgh and Tampa Bay with the Penguins winning that series. In the West, I have it being Nashville and Edmonton. I have the Oilers winning that in the Stanley Cup Final. Pittsburgh, Edmonton, Penguins win the Stanley Cup again, and they get the three-peat. Folks, the opening game for the Penguins is tonight at 8 p.m. It's on the NBC Sports Network. Highlights will be here, as always. And I hope you enjoyed the Pittsburgh Penguins season preview show for the rest of the great crew. Joey the Truth Wagner signing off. Hockey is back. Good night.